In a healthy, functional back, the brain sends motor control signals to the back muscles while the back muscles return sensory information in order to perform everyday activities. This communication loop between the brain and muscles is called neuromuscular control and consists of muscle recruitment and sensory feedback called proprioception. We use neuromuscular control to consciously control our superficial back muscles when doing things like exercising. Large muscle movement activities like bending over to pick something up is consciously controlled from the brain. We also use neuromuscular control to subconsciously control our deep stabilizing muscles for smaller micro movement or stabilization activities like brushing teeth over the sink, washing dishes, reaching up for something, or having to maintain a standing or seated position for an extended period of time. Large movement activities utilize the outermost superficial back muscles called the erector spinae group, which are most often controlled with our conscious thought. Critical spine stabilization during movement activities utilizes a deep multi-layered core muscle group called the multifidus muscle group in our lower back. This stabilization is automatic and is mostly controlled subconsciously. Neuromuscular control can become muted or inhibited due to injury. This causes our brain to send little to no signal to the muscles, as well as ignore important proprioception from the muscles. This results in our muscles failing to properly function to stabilize our spine and spinal column correctly. This muted or inhibited communication loop can cause excess muscle fatigue, improper loading on spinal joints and discs, resulting in mechanical chronic low back pain. This cause of mechanical chronic low back pain stemming from the loss of neuromuscular control and multifidus dysfunction is often misdiagnosed and can be confused for other back pain pathologies.